Let us celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, for from her arose the Son of Justice, Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Welcome you as we come together for our Mass and prayer this morning. Today is the Feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, September 8th. So we'll be praying for her. Today is also the 30th anniversary of my first profession of vows. So when I was 24 years old, I professed my first vows on this date after finishing my novitiate with the Claritian missionaries. And so I'm going to share a little bit about who the Claritians are in my reflection today after the readings, but uh, a special celebration for me. Um, this was also, although we didn't do it on the same date, Father Tony and I were novice mates, so this was also this year in August he celebrated his 30th anniversary of his first profession. So appreciate any prayers that you, uh, you keep the Claritians or myself in, in terms of our vocation as missionaries. As we begin, we take a moment to uh, ask for God's mercy and his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you became human, born of the Virgin Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Lord Jesus, in taking on human flesh, you have sanctified the created world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. <clears throat> Therefore the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth is born and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God. And they shall remain, for now in his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Thanks be to God. With delight, with delight I rejoice in the Lord. With, with delight, delight I rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. With, with delight, delight I rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Let me sing to the Lord, he has been good to me. With, with delight, delight I rejoice in the Lord.
Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise, for you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned on this feast of the birth of Mary is the 30th anniversary of my first profession of religious vows as a Claritian missionary. And Basically, from the time I was 10 years old, I felt I wanted to be a, a priest. By the time I was in junior high school, I thought I wanted to be a missionary priest and belong to a religious congregation. When I was 16, I began writing to the Claritian missionaries. And when I graduated high school and uh, went to college, then I moved to Chicago so I could live in a house run by the Claritians. Graduated college, went on to my novitiate, and made my first profession of vows. We were founded by St. Anthony Claret, and that's how you pronounce his name. He's not French, he's a Catalan Spaniard. So St. Anthony Claret, the years of his life are easy to remember because he was born in 1807 and he died in 1870, shortly after the First Vatican Council. He founded the Claritians in 1849 to be missionary preachers. At the time in Spain, the, all the religious had been expelled and not every priest had faculties for preaching and hearing confessions. So he formed together a group of diocesan priests who would focus on preaching throughout Spain, and reigniting people's faith. Shortly after, was formed as a separate religious congregation, and he became bishop in Cuba. So uh, the Claritian missionaries, there's about 3,000 of us worldwide which makes us on the smaller end of the larger congregations in the world of, of men religious. Uh, in Spain, we may still be at one point, we're the largest religious congregation in the country of Spain, we're the Claritian missionaries. And in Spain, they would just say the missionaries, and they all always meant the Claritian missionaries. During the Spanish Civil War, we Claritians had more seminarians and priests and brothers killed than any other religious congregation in Spain during uh, during those, the war and the troubles there. Um, St. Anthony Claret did not name us after himself, so he didn't call us Claritian missionaries. We're also named Sons of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, or Missionary Sons of, of, of Mary, Sons of the Heart of Mary. The initials after my name, if you ever look at them on the bulletin or anything, are CMF. And a lot of people see that and think it stands for Claritian Missionary Fathers but it doesn't, it's a Latin indicator for Cordus Maria Filius, which is son of the heart of Mary. So even I'm hoping in my time, Father Tony's and now Father Byron's time here at the St. John Catholic Newman Center, what we bring of our charism hopefully is a missionary mentality, an evangelizing perspective. Uh, one of our lines is to think about who's not here. So we're not just here to serve current parishioners, but there's always that mentality of, for us here, with especially college students and young adults, how do we reach out? How do we get more people to, to attend? So there's this, our missionary, missionary evangelization is our charism. The style of our missionary evangelization 
is as sons of the heart of Mary. One of our slogans or lines is, uh, without tenderness there is no ministry, there is no proclamation of the gospel. It's in Mary's heart that we're told she ponders the events of Jesus' life. It is her heart that is also pierced with the sword in terms of the sorrow and sadness that she witnesses in her son. So our style of proclaiming the gospel is with tenderness from the heart. So it's a nice fit with the St. John Newman and his heart speaks to heart slogan. So I celebrate and am grateful to God for my vocation as a Claritian missionary. I'm grateful that part of that charism can be shared with this specific parish community at this place in time. And let us continue to pray for the intercession of Mary, especially in her immaculate heart, that our proclamation of the gospel may touch people's lives and change them and bring them to Christ her son. bring our needs before God, whose will it is that all humanity should be saved. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord in his divine goodness watch over and care for him. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, may God's love and justice guide those in power and authority. Let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering from any affliction or violence, May Jesus give us peace and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for this congregation, for our parish, for the Claritian missionaries, may the Lord make us holy as the Blessed Virgin Mary was holy and full of grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all who have died, may they rest in the eternal peace of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and in a moment of silence, we offer our own petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. God of mercy and love, as we celebrate today the feast of the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring these prayers to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take flesh, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the nativity of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, that it remain forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May your church exalt, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.